Okay, here's the first part of a long-awaited series on how to build your own foundry for aluminum. Sorry about the horrible lighting we're in my shop again tonight, so I don't understand, but this camera doesn't like anything but sunlight, so we're going to work with me here. Now, the first and most important thing is going to be your torch, if we're going with propane, that is. And see, it is, this is pretty straightforward. I mean, I've got a pipe with uh, an adapter and I just put a piece of sheet metal over it to make it big like that but I suppose you could probably just use a bigger pipe you know for those that can't weld and whatnot you know and this pipe is approximately 18 inches long to two feet long I suppose the length really doesn't matter all that much but here's the important part now that right there is the propane injector I have it hooked up to one that uh, I can screw directly into a big propane tank because it, it likes to drink gas so now anyway, you drill a hole and that piece of copper right there is one of these it's a oxyacetylene torch for uh, welding and brazing and this is the uh, medium and this is the large basically what it's doing is it's in that pipe like that I bent the other one a little bit so it fit in there perfect you want it exactly in the middle of the pipe facing out towards the nozzle and when you turn on the gas that's going to draw your air in from in there and it's going to mix and you'll get a nice torch head coming out the back now I want you to understand there is nothing thing inside this pipe so there's no little grate or anything it's just a pipe so I'm gonna hook it up to the propane tank now give me a second and I'll show you it work okay there it is hooked up and on it's on a very low setting because it's actually not in the foundry and this thing puts off a lot of heat I don't want to set my raptors, my, uh, we're in the basement, so I don't want to set my roommate's bedroom on fire, so. So, but see, so you understand how it works there. A lot of times they might be a little hard to start, it might go. But once it's in the foundry, usually it starts up pretty easy, and it'll tame out, and the only thing that's kind of weird is you've got to, there's no regulator, so I mean, you really got to be careful with that knob to get the flame just right. There's the flame. It goes much higher than that, but I'm not going to show you. So, this is step one, how to build the torch head for your aluminum foundry. Thank you.